I'm going ahead and removing these azaleas from my front border outside my fence. As you can see, the bunnies have been chewing on them. So I'm removing all these from the front and I'm replacing them with this beautiful lavender that's going to be drought tolerant. So it's going to require less water and maintenance from me, which is one of the things that I'm looking so forward to. Not a lot of maintenance. So I'm going to replace these with the azaleas that I had in the front. And then I'll show you how it looks at the end. Alright, so we are outside my fence. This is my little cottage that I built here after Memorial Day, so almost a year ago. And over here we have some Black Eye Suzanne with some some Deontes, the little grassy patch. And all around the border I went with the daffodils. Right here in the corner there's a small butterfly bush and some salvia. And over here I put the Lavender, look how pretty the color. Oh my goodness, I think I make a good choice with some white, green, purple. Anyways, uh, the three strawberry Sunday hydrangeas. Over here, I have the gallium, and those are gonna get really big, like four feet tall or so. And can wait for to see how those look. Um, so we have the hydrangeas, the salvias. I potted a tiny stem of Autumn Joy in a year. It turned into this bush and that tiny little bush over here. So that's how fast you know it's easy to propagate those Autumn Joys. The lavender, it's easy maintenance just like the Autumn Joy. Easy care, no too much watering or fertilizing. So that's one of the good plants to plant out here. We have another Black Kaisu sand, that small little bush right there with three alliums. See, one behind the uh, Strawberry Sunday Hydrangea. So those are gonna look very nice. I can't wait to see. I have another big giant salvia that I just I love its spot. Easy maintenance, no watering, drought tolerant plants in this border I could say. Some moms that came back last from last year, they need to be cut so they could get some nice blooms this year. Another salvia and all around this border I've had daffodils. They look really nice. Now they are just green stems. Over here, I have a boomerang lilac. Look how pretty it is. Oh, you can see the pretty flowers too. Anyways, this one is gonna grow four to six feet tall and wide, so I'm hoping that's a good space for it. If not, I could always trim it. And a little cypress right there for some greenery. So yeah, this is the bed that I have outside my garden fence and well, easy plants to take care of. You don't have to be out here watering, fertilizing, cutting, um, right now it's all green, I can wait to see some color but the daffodils really help with the color in early spring. I try to uh, have same plants repeat it like the salvia and the lavender and some black eyes of sun and obviously the hydrangea and the alliums repeat it so that way it could be a little balanced with the yellow purple and pink that yeah that's how it's, the colors in summer will be Right now is mid-April and green, but it still looks good. 
All right, I'll show you the updates as this bed gets beautified by the color and summer. All right, so, so this is where I replanted my zillias. One is right here. Second. And third. I know right now you don't see anything yet, but they're they were little when I got them and then after the bunnies ate most of it they look litter so they just look like a little bunch of sticks this is where they are right now and we'll see how they look after I know this one had tiny little blooms in there I don't know you can see it so hopefully I didn't upset it too much